today we need to talk about V being requested to be banned and dropped from the label. I also want to talk about fans dragging V over someone that was chosen to work with V allegedly for his new album. We also have a specific company giving us an update on something interesting. So hey down please, this is Dave Desai, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with an official bell on. We're having some fun, it's hastily welcome merch, and let's go. We need to talk about the Guinness World Record and why this has anything to do with BTS, specifically John Cook. There was some controversy going on with this for about a week or so. When it comes to any record, I don't think armies would be happy unless BTS occupies all of the records that the World Record book has. However, this is literally impossible as BTS simply has not beaten every single record in existence. One record that was held for a long time was the most streamed male artist. That record is always changing depending on who is currently trending and as a society we and the world keeps moving, I'm sure that record will change almost yearly. Since it seems like every day we have a new artist come out that overtook the last one. That record was initially for Harry Styles as it was, and that song was literally everywhere, so there really was no shock there that the song got most streamed. When Jungkook released Seven, it overtook Harry's song, and armies were protesting to get Harry off the record and put Jungkook in. With a lot of American artists' records, it's a lot easier for the record book to verify. Aside from receiving more direct insider information, they're also not receiving a lot of misinformation from the fandoms. K-pop fans will make a record for every little thing. First, K-pop star with orange hair to stream at number one in the month of July, and then ask companies, labels, and other record books to note that record. Of course, this is an exaggeration. Oftentimes, BTS does carry real big records that deserve to be noted. However, understand that the mindset and perspective the people who are verifying these records are thinking. So for a while, the book holder kept the record with Harry as they verified everything behind the scenes. As expected, the Guinness's entire ex, formerly known as Twitter account, got flooded with hate comments from these alleged fans, and this includes posts that were about people who had recently died. Do you see how even if the record is definitely true, how the book holder would not want to update it? They don't want to satisfy these immature, insensitive, and terrible people. People were trending and demanding the book holder needs to change the record immediately, and they hadn't even gotten the chance to fully verify everything yet. Also, do you think Jungkook or any artist sits there and prays to win that record? Do you think they care? Understanding that most of these records are not, I don't want to say as legit as they think, but pretty much. Most of these are run by a small team, and the record barely really matters in a historic context. It's not like maybe a more historic deal like speaking with Joe Biden or performing at the UN, all of which matters a lot more to BTS and the world. There were literally comments saying that by the Guinness World Records X account asking for the source for Jungkook being the most streamed. That was unprofessional and caused Jungkook to get dragged by haters. So now getting dragged by haters is the Guinness World Records fault. Literally no artist in the history of ever has ever blamed a record holding company for their hate. What exactly are the haters saying? Jungkook doesn't have a Guinness record. Why would they say that? Any context? Unless these fans are going around bragging and putting down other artists by saying Jungkook is more successful than other artists, would then Jungkook get dragged for not having a Guinness record? Meaning the issue is not him not having the record, but the issue is literally these fans are so toxic. Stop bashing other artists in the name of Jungkook. He does not want that. And having a Guinness record does not mean you are successful. Does this mean that every artist that does not have one is not successful? What about the millions of dollars, fans, and other awards they have? It means nothing, only Guinness is a sign of success? People were demanding an apology after Guinness updated recently that Jungkook holds the record now. You think fans would be happy after the update, but now they're demanding that Guinness was terrible and should apologize for not updating fast enough. Just stop, please. This is so annoying, and it's one thing if it's like a select few people doing this, but this was trending. A lot of people in the fandom will make some random assumption and what irks me is why are these people so angry all the time? If you're so quick to jump down someone's throat, cancel a company, and write these long paragraphs of hate comments towards someone or some company, you must be so angry inside. Why? 
Music is supposed to heal and make you happy. That's not the intention of what BTS ever wanted. Loving yourself means not hating other things because to hate is giving something negative room inside you rent free. People also attack Hive for literally no reason and almost every other day there are posts and hate comments regarding how they want V to leave Hive because of the alleged mistreatment. There are still people saying that they want Hive to give proper promotion to V and demanding that it happen. You don't have to tell a company to give proper promotion as they're going to give the best promotion they can. And if there is something wrong, understand that there's a reason for that that they possibly can't talk about. I understand if there's a small issue involving CDs or whatever it is, this happens all the time, and fans complain and post about it all the time. However, the thing that irks me about several K-pop fandoms is that they hold on to it. And then if it's a slow news day or nothing is happening or triggering it, then they start to bring that up again, hoping it gets trending again. And it does because people like to jump right back on it. How miserable do you have to be? Of course, none of these people are anyone that watches this channel. So I am preaching to the choir here and no change will happen. But it's just so sad to me. Every single quarter when Hive puts out a statement, there's an influx of hate either coming to me or to other news channels about how Hive's statement is referring to these channels. Funny enough, it's usually the same people coming back and it's like there's a list of channels that they wrote down and every quarter they come back and attack those channels. I could literally stop posting but I will receive the same like 10 to 20 people every quarter that come back just to leave a hate comment and then leave. Like I think that's sad. Who has the time? But they do. And I'm a little angsty and angry today, so I'm really just dumping out my feelings that I never really ever talk about. There's been comments demanding or wishing for a BTS disbandment just so V can get better treatment, which makes no sense to me. Unless they're saying that they want V to leave high, but not the other members. V is the one who popularized BTS's 7. Why would he leave? Explain how that makes sense. Also, you're really not going to find any other label that is going to treat BTS any better. BTS has the highest revenue share for their label that exists across the industry. And if they join another K-pop label, that label would probably not know what to do with BTS or not really do it much better because they have many other artists to focus on. Whereas Hype kind of needs BTS. Any connection that another label has, Hype has, and Hype actually has more given their acquisitions with American labels and management. So if you're actually looking to have a debut in the US, eventually Hype is actually the label that could open those doors for you. There's been some backlash with who is being reported to be working with V for his new solo album. It has been reported that V will be going after Jungkook or will be the last member to do their solo. And then V is working with Min Hee Jin, who is the producer for New Jeans. Given this producer is obviously within Hive's network of people, it's not entirely shocking for V to be working with someone within the label. The style in which New Jeans has been promoting is very interesting and I'm wondering if the producer was chosen given that style was of interest to V. This is very exciting to hear that V is releasing an album soon and it's already something people are discussing. Now Min Hee Jin has a bit of a controversial past. She has been accused of pedo things, not the best reputation or controversy to have. Now, I don't know the legitimacy of these claims. As I've said before, K-pop likes to often blow things out of the water and turn a small thing into a much bigger thing. I'm not saying it isn't true. I'm not saying it is true. I'm saying I don't know the legitimacy and I don't feel comfortable confirming or denying. A lot of the claims come from her artistic styling in the artists she's worked with. So there's a lot of backlash on V for choosing an art director for his work and hoping that she doesn't mess it up or incorporate any controversial ideas in V's new music. Given this is V's solo, I can see why people are a bit more anxious about it needing to be perfect. However, just because an art director or producer is controversial doesn't mean that another artist cannot work with them or that the work will be bad. V can be very clear about what he is looking for and given that this is V's solo album, I bet he has a big say in what he wants to portray. I really don't like the idea of dragging whoever V is working with and I hate this idea that anytime a person is rumored or reported to be working with a BTS member that suddenly their history is dragged up and people are looking for a way to cancel them. Why? I don't understand. Most of the people who are doing this aren't even producers or artists. It's not like BTS members would work with you instead. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.